Everyone always asks me, Ashley, what's the proper way to assemble the rocket engine? I don't even know, and my name isn't Ashley. What I know best is how to use next-gen open source AI tools to create a standout reference video with a consistent character showcasing your product. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. If you want your consistent character showcase your product, there are a couple of cool open source models that I'm gonna show you, and then one paid, which offers amazing quality as well. The first one, it's called Hunyan Custom. This is a cool Chinese model, which is completely open source. You can get the repos on GitHub and install it to your computer, or you can go to Hugging Face and even try it now yourself and we are going to try it in real time as well so basically what it does it lets you put a consistent character in your scene take a look it provides amazing quality you can showcase your product you can do tiktok ads facebook ads things like that and create consistent characters you can learn everything about this model it's pretty good and the best part as well it's open source so without further ado let's try it out click try now then you get to the chinese website which is unfortunately have no english version so use google translate but you don't really need to read anything it's pretty obvious just put your image key on the left side and then type your prompt a girl is showcasing the red tin can and then click generate and in a couple of minutes you'll see result like this with a consistent character showcasing your product not bad for an open source model and you can even use that fun stuff with the intro hook about the rocket engine as well look at that looks amazing the next one is called dream by byte dance the creators of tiktok and this is amazing guys and again and the best part, it's open source. So if you have a strong computer, which I don't have, you can install it using GitHub. Or if you're like me, just try Hugging Face Demo, which works just as fine. So look, you can put a consistent character in the seam that you want. Let's try it together. There you have it. And that's by Dance Spacings on Hugging Face. And it's completely free and open source. So in the first reference image, you put yourself or your character and then make sure you choose the task for the reference image as ID, which means it will take the face. And here you put your product and you put the task as IP. Then type a prompt, a person showcasing a tin can. What else you can change? You can change guidance and that's very important, guys. So the standard guidance is 3.5. And if you notice that faces appear overly glossy on unrealistic, especially for the ID tasks, you can low guidance to three. And if the text rendering is poor or limb distortion occurs, increase the guidance scale to four. And you can also change the amount of steps from 25 to 12 if you want to speed the thing up. But it's pre already pretty fast. And you can create this amazing, cool, viral hooks like I am fixing a rocket engine take a look here so you can do everything here as well and it's completely free and open source and the final one it's called Kling Kling is the commercial solution which is pretty expensive but the quality is just amazing guys they have new model Kling 2.0 but unfortunately it doesn't allow elements yet so we need to go to Kling 1.6 for now which is pretty good as well and it's cheaper as well then you choose image to video then you choose elements and here you put the face and here you put the product so I'll put my team can a vlogger is a vlogger is showcasing a team can and there you have it guys you can choose duration and a couple of outputs 
and click generate. And here is the final result. Look how consistent the character and the product looks. It's just amazing, guys. And the best part, you can do lip sync. You can just click here, lip sync, and then you can type the script or upload the audio and make your character talk in any voice you want. So that's all for today. I hope to find this tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments below what we should cover next. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.